Um, when I first arrived at Walla Walla, it had been uh, after flying an entire day, it was evening, and I arrived at the Walla Walla Airport. It's a tiny little airport on the edge of town, which is nice because, you know, you don't have to, you know, discover a new airport and figure out where you're going and all that stuff. It's, it's pretty much you, what you see is what you get. And so I walked out and one of the uh, faculty or staff here at the school picked me up. Um, he worked with the international students and since I didn't know anyone here on campus, uh, he picked me up and he took me over to the dorm. And I couldn't see a lot on the ride over because it was dark, um, but the next day my, my initial impression was dry. It was very dry in comparison to where I was from um, back east where it's, it's lush and green. My first impressions uh, about the faculty were they were, they were very kind um, and they, they were really looking out for you. They wanted to help you fit in. The students, um, <laughs> I because I was an engineer, I was in a class with mostly guys and they were all very friendly, very open. Um, it, was, it was a good environment to start off in. It's a small school and you begin to recognize faces a lot faster, see them more often. Um, and you travel with groups in your major, so it, it, that makes making friends a little bit easier too. Okay. Because it's such a, a tight-knit campus, it, it only takes you maybe five minutes to get from one side to the other, so that makes uh, moving from class to class a lot easier than it is in some bigger schools where you know, you've got 20 minutes of commute between classes. That's really nice.